Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my another crash course. And in this crash course, we are talking about Nest.js. Okay, so Nest.js is something new, we can say, but it is getting more popular. And when you are writing Node.js API backend, then I will advise you to use Nest.js to take a lot of advantage from it. Okay, so in this video, we are just getting started with Nest.js. We will just discuss why you should use Nest.js today for your API backend. I mean, whatever kind of backend you are writing with the Node.js, everything is possible with Nest.js. Okay, so around that we will talk today. So I will just give a basic introduction. Okay, uh, this is my YouTube channel and I am publishing a lot of courses which are totally free. You don't need to pay for anything. I'm covering the full width of the course, like from beginner to intermediate to advanced level. So you don't need to pay on any learning website. It's a free, free learning. I'm providing the GitHub source where you can find the individual module code and uh, a proper course content in particular link. Okay. So first of all, why do we need Nest.js? Okay. You might be thinking that Nest.js is somewhat like, okay, we have a Koa, HappyJS, Restify, Express. Now Nest.js is something new, right? Yes, it is totally new, but it is not somewhat like you have heard about HappyJS, Koa, Restify, Express. In today's world, we are writing JavaScript with a TypeScript, right? So if we just look at the TypeScript support for all these other modules, Koa, Happy, Restify, they are not providing, they are just a minimal framework on top of no Node.js. They are helping you to write uh, REST endpoints, helping you to create a HTTP server like Express server using Express server or Happy server or Koa server you are creating, right? So those are minimal. But Nest.js is something totally different. It is supporting TypeScript and it is giving you the well-defined TypeScript modular structure. If you have gone through the Angular, in, an, in Angular, I'm talking about Angular 9, 10 or Angular, Angular version greater than 2.0. There we are creating the different modules, defining the dependencies, creating the controller services, all these things we are doing, right? So same part of things we will be doing in Nest.js. So this Nest.js is actually, you can say, uh, it's derived from AngularJS design. So not, not AngularJS, it's, we are calling that Angular because AngularJS is 1.x. Angular is whatever is coming after 2.0. Currently we are using Angular 10. So in Angular also we are creating the modules, ng modules, then creating services, creating components, injecting services inside a component. Same kind of structure you will see in NestJS for API backend, not for frontend. So if you, are, if you already know Angular, then it will be very easy to get started with Nest.js for writing API backend or any backend system in Node.js. It is fully compatible with the TypeScript and it is providing the support with type ORM and SQLize to write data to the backends like MySQL, Postgres or any other database. Okay, so this course is divided into many sections, not only five sections. In first section, we will talk about basic getting started with Nest.js. Next.js CLI, then to how we will write a REST API backend, we will do the validation of request object with the DTOs, then we will talk about the different building blocks which Next.js is providing us. Why Next.js is different from these minimal framework? Because Next.js is giving you the well-defined structure for everything. You need request validation, let's have pipes. You want a filtering you want interceptors for your exceptions, you can use interceptors. You want middleware, okay, you have a middleware from Nest.js. All controllers, services, middlewares, filters, pipes, all these are actually well-defined building blocks which you can plug in with your modules. Either you can plug in at a global level or at a module level. Everything can be a module, database module, logger module, swagger module, user module, okay, blog module. All these modules can have their own controller, services, pipes, all these things can be separated. So it is giving us the well-defined structure that we will see in the code. We will talk about data persistence with the MySQL or TypeORM. Like uh, we can use SQLize, TypeORM and then 
uh, NestJS provide a support to talk to MongoDB using NestJS Mongoose, NestJS uh, MySQL, all these modules, NestJS Type ORM, NestJS SQLize, all these modules are there. Finally, we will be building a lot of applications here. We will talk about how we can create a simple auth. API is using passport authentication authorization. We will talk about logging in the NestJS, managing configuration. So we are using database configurations, uh, process level configuration like port, log level, database username, password, blah, blah, Redis username, pass, username, password, host and port, all this configuration, how you can maintain. Apart from that, we will talk about NestJS with the GraphQL and REST APIs, okay? NestJS with the different microservices, NestJS Redis, NestJS Socket IO, okay? All these things will be covered. So it is like a full-fledged course and what you need is just uh, some Postman tool will be fine. You should have a Node.js installed, simple editor VS code should be fine. Docker we may need in future videos, just a GitHub account so that whatever code I'm giving, you can clone it and know, all right? And basic knowledge of Node.js. Coming back to my point, why do we need Nest.js? Don't consider Nest.js is a simple framework. Nest.js is getting very much popular. And when you start using Nest.js, you learn the very basics. After that, you can write Node.js backend systems easily. What you need to understand is the basic skeleton of uh, Nest.js, how it works. You are creating modules, controllers and services. Controllers will have your routes. Services will talk to your database, give the data to the controllers. Controllers will expose that data to different API endpoints. Nest.js is very rich when it comes to the modules and all because what you can do is you can use Swagger module to expose the API stack. You don't need to write YML file. You can use Nest.js Redis to use the Redis module. You can use Nest.js Mongoose, Nest.js Type ORM, Nest.js GraphQL to introduce GraphQL. Okay, so let's start our journey. I think, uh, and we will we will start with Nest.js CLI. How to just install it? How to get started? Create a base project.